Hi folks, I hope everything finds you guys well. Wanted to say thank you to Jonah and Brian and Spirit for helping me out. Show my disclaimers. Okay, I came across this book and I started recording as I was looking at the book. First, let me go into the book itself a little bit, and then I'll show you what's in it. But I have to give a warning. This is adult, adult topics, okay? This is, you know, viewer discretion advised here. This is some pretty twisted stuff. And as, as you listen to me go through this book, you'll hear me get more and more upset. Because the more I went into this, and just the volume of it, just, it, this is sickening. But this was done in 1642. This was a book that was recently scanned in and made available online. And that's how a lot of disclosure is happening. It's very sneaky and it's just kind of being snuck out there for people to discover it. It's not going to be on the news. But this is some sick stuff. So the first thing I wonder though is the publication date, 1642. I thought, huh, that's interesting. And see that guy in the upper left hand corner? I wonder what was going on. But here's what the description is. These are two different translations. And I did find a translation that I'm starting to go through. It's just insane. But, yeah, this is presented as, as fact. This is really sick stuff. Okay, and then that guy reminded me of Charles I. And 1642, the 1640s, what was going on? The English Civil War. I actually covered this in another one of my videos. And the English Civil War seems to be when all the giants left modern society. Because all the artwork around that time showed the two different sized humans that I keep showing you. But apparently there was some kind of coup that happened. And I go into this and I show you this document in one of my other videos. But you can very distinctly, if you look carefully, see two different sized humans. And the document says that basically it's it was like a civil war. But I think this happened in a lot of other places. There are too many destroyed star forts. But uh, apparently they tried to take the forts. And there was a battle. And the battle looked pretty gruesome. But then we have, you know, biblical quotes in here and correlations. That's why I love the Bible. It's like a code book and a riddle book, but there are correlations and references to the Bible in this document. And look at the two different sized humans. So something happened. And you guys can just pause these. I will be putting my series back up once I get it all in the new format. And I go into this in one of my other videos. But Basically, this is a hint that, okay, this is our cover story. And each side seemed to, like, hang their own. The tall people, <laughs> the giants hung their conspirators, and then the regular humans hung theirs. And if you see, even in this, two different sized humans. And then I saw another drawing, some historical site on the, on the web that doesn't show that. So here's some of the quotes you guys can pause and read, but this is not what this video is about, but the su succession of all ages. I mean, this is just crazy stuff. Okay, so enough of that. The Book of Enoch. And there, there are three books that I really love to study that used to be part of the Bible, and they're actually referenced in the Bible. The book of the, the Essene Gospel of Peace, the book of Yasher, and the book of Enoch. And I was always curious as to why these books were taken out. I believe the most true teachings of anything are going to be the earliest and the ones that are closest to the foundation. So listen to this quote from the book of Enoch. And they took wives, each choosing for himself. Now, keep in mind, they took them. Okay, this does not sound consensual. Just like in Genesis where it said God took the man. They took wives, each choosing for himself, whom they began to approach and with whom they cohabitated, teaching them sorcery, incantations, and the dividing of roots and trees. I wonder if that means genetic engineering right there, the dividing. 
Uh, and the women conceiving brought forth giants, whose stature was each three hundred cubits. These devoured all which the labor of men produced, until it became possible impossible to feed them. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them, and began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles, and fishes, to eat their flesh one after another, and to drink their blood. So, this must be the start of carnivorous humans, or you know, humankind, or mankind, but a lot of people, including myself, think this is referencing you know, sinning against, and that's what other translation says, that it's, they sinned against birds and beasts and reptiles and fishes. Well, this book would explain exactly how and how evil this really is. At first, when I start looking at this book, and you guys will see me and hear me discover this as I go along, but I get more and more upset because it just gets keeps getting sicker and sicker. It, it's almost like they were using genetic engineering and cloning as a form of recreation. You know, there's a whole section on let's see what kind of heads we can put on things. And there seems to be another section of let's make two bodies, and you know, with creatures. And another section, let's make creatures with two heads. This is sick. This is absolutely sick and disgusting and cruel. I've never seen anything like it. This is just very disturbing. So I'll take you to my scrolling through the book and you can discover some of this stuff like I did. Here we go. Okay. My generator's going. It's going to be noisy. And I am recording this because I just stumbled across this book and I don't want to take the time to, uh, you know, do what I normally do and put it all into a nice pretty presentation. I just figured I'd, I'd show you guys as I'm going through this because this is insane, okay? This is supposed to be an encyclopedia of monsters and animals from 1642, alright? And uh, here's the information on this. I'll leave the link in the description. <laughs> okay. But this is... I was about to browse. I looked at the thumbnails and I was about to start browsing through it. So I figured I'd share that. Oh, come on. This is crazy. Okay, hang on. Let me... Where's full screen? Where is the full screen? Uh, F11. There we go. Okay, this is insane. Alright. Uh, I would assume that's Homo sapien. This is just crazy stuff. Okay. Let's try it this way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the ears on this guy. <laughs> that is just... In That's insane. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Cyclops. We've all heard of those. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oops. Ah, they're pretty famous. I've seen other photos of these guys. Actually, hairy people are very famous. They're mentioned in the Bible, too. Why do I think Esau? Is that the furry arm thing? Oh, how pretty. <laughs> wow. I mean, what? 
Yeah, and I've seen humanoids in with different animal heads all throughout history. Books, the ancient books, they show these guys a lot. Bird heads and cat heads and ibis heads and you know jackal heads and just but humanoids. And then there've been also reports of like inner earth stories that say they came across tribes of. You now there's like Pan or a centaur, or not a centaur because they have the rest of the horse. Okay, wow. Seder. Seder. What? Wow. It's another Seder. That <laughs> is just so cool. Whoa. I mean... If there wasn't genetic engineering going on back then, there's no other logical explanation for this. <laughs> I mean, and I, I need to find the scripture. It's one of the banned books of the Bible that's, that talks about do not mix species with other species. Don't weave two different things together. That quote I was thinking of is in the book of Jasher. And the judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husbands according to their choice. And the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the, of the earth, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the air, and taught the mixture of animals, one species with the other, in order therewith to provoke the Lord. And God saw the whole earth, and it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon the earth, all men and all animals. These books explain how that could be possible and how it was done. I mean, this is just evil and spiteful. And if you wanted to piss off Mother Nature and the divine design of things according to their kind, this would be how to do it. This is an abomination. This is horrible. Anyhow, back to the book. You know, and with language barriers and all of that, you've got to understand metaphors and symbolism and what in the world did they mean by that? I think that they were condemning genetic engineering. And I don't see any of the reason or, or explanation for why the, the ancient books are filled with this stuff. And of course, humans are crazy and violent, so we went around and killed anything different. That's normal of any species. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and what's the difference between dragons and dinosaurs? <laughs> Whoa. I mean, how in the world do we know? Hey, look, normal looking people. Giant. Okay, I don't know what that is. Whoa! Look at this guy! Doesn't he look interesting? I'm sorry it moves around too much, y'all. Androgynous! This is a crazy book! Pretty. And the thing is, I have to try to type that and put it into, like, Google Translate or something like that. So, translating these books are just so... It, it, way time-consuming for me. Infant and vitro. What? not very happy looks like what's that blue dude okay anyhow 
Whoa. Okay. Who the who? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. What year is this again? Sixteen forty two. Wow. And that's when the baby turns. Wow. Huh. You know, in one of my videos, I talk about this guy who found these artifacts in Ecuador that look like an ancient genetics lab and the tools that he found he said they were made out of lodite and they were perfect beautiful surgical tools and they're like impossible to make out of that type of stone which is why I think that they had geopolymer that they could basically recreate things with any kind of stone they want to yeah, I think that they could do that there's, there's nothing new under the sun they probably had that tech Oh, how strange. <laughs> I don't think humans are supposed to be that developed in the womb. This is weird. And of course, I can't read any of this. This is like Latin, I think. Oh, this is insane. Kind of hard to navigate. Wow. Can I do like a two page view? That might be better. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Whoa. Huh. Okay, I wanted to get a uh, closer look at that. How weird. That's just so weird. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Huh, that's actually very pretty. I just love the art in these books. Okay, this bugs me when it's sideways, but they do that. Wait, 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 what, what was that? I missed something. Ooh. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Okay, let's go back to two page view. Oh, right. Where are my two pages? Ah, give me single page to reset it and then go back to this. There we go. Huh. Ooh, what? Who are these people supposed to be? <laughs> I love finding books like this. But, okay, this way. Huh. Huh. Cannibal. Is that what that says? Cannibal? They don't have six toes. He's got a finger cut off. 
That's a weird looking hand. Look at that hand. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Is that on the toes too? I don't think so. Huh. Interesting. Check that out. Huh. What? Oh, that's just so weird. That's interesting. Huh, the double headed eagle there. Two suns. Not a sun and a moon. That's that's odd. But then we have the moon and the star here. Huh. And look at the different swords. How odd. <laughs> this ancient art is so trippy. It is just so trippy. <laughs> what? what? Aw, he looks sad. What page am I on? Ooh! Whoa, that's weird. That looks wicked. Ugh. What? Wow. Huh. Oh, how strange. One hoof, one hand? Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> you can't tell me ancient genetic engineering wasn't going on. Oh, how insane! Whoa! Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, my. Wow. Look at her feet. That is... <laughs> wow. That's insane. And this coincides with all the research I've done. There were all sorts of absolutely insane things. Which reminds me of like the days of Noah and everything was corrupted. I think they meant that the genetics were all corrupted. And this ties into Atlantis in my research. And I don't think it was that long ago. Like a few hundred years ago. Oh, ew. <laughs> oh, my. Look, there's a horn coming out of his belly. That's insane. But the myths talk about this. It's like we were the genetic playground of a group of whatever you want to call them. Gods, angels, aliens, demons, uh, the overlords, many different words. And they came here and messed with us. 
look at that and mess with that's why they said they sinned against everything they sinned against the birds and and you know all the so they, they basically corrupted I think the genetics because supposedly in the old ages there weren't predators they weren't meat eaters this was all a genetic change after the original creation when everything sprouted out of the ground the creation of mother earth where everything was created according to its kind I think that's why they repeat it so much in the Bible is because according to its kind is the original de genetic design if that makes any sense I just this is the hunch I get from my research and then it was changed by intelligent groups of aliens angels demons whatever I mean there's no telling where the beginning is because they came here from somewhere else and they learned from older races that that learned from older races and it's just we'll never know the very start of it and I think that's the whole point uh, the, most cultures say we're in the fifth age on this planet. I've seen these in a lot of other ancient arts. And ones that have like the face in the middle of the chest. What in the world? That's insane. Come on. What else do we have? Huh. Wow. That's not like normal, like, conjoined twins. Because they're not, like, smaller than the rest of their body. This one's strange. Because their heads are much smaller and their shoulders are much smaller. It's like a shrunk ray went from there up. <sighs> wow. I mean, this has to be ancient genetic modification. There's no other explanation for it because this is not the only report I've seen of this stuff. It's worldwide. And th there are worldwide reports of all sorts of things that are not human all around. Gods, angels, aliens, demons, whatever you want to call them. Oh my goodness. No. That's just weird. Okay. Some of this stuff is creeping me out. Ugh. Some of this stuff is really... <laughs> this is... Is this like the, the, the uh, equivalent... Of, look at his toes. Is this like the equivalent of a horror movie in ancient times? These kind of books? But the... Th oh. The thing is, it it's... All the ancient books report this stuff as if it's fact. Along with everything else that we know today is to be true oh my <laughs> it, it, truth is stranger than fiction a boar with two heads oh it's just insane a lamb with two heads or sheep with two heads a goat with two heads I mean Oh, this is sad. It's like they, they had a specialty of making double-headed versions of all the animals. Ooh, that one has a set of eyes in its chest. Freaky. That is horrific. Can you imagine living in a world where this kind of stuff might be going on? Whoa. That's really weird. Oh. Oh, they sinned against the birds. That's horrific. That's horrible. Snakes? Jeez! It's like they had a, a two head department. So it's your department, it's your job to make double headed of every animal on the planet. Good God! What is this? This is, this is insane! <laughs> is it? I'm speechless. Oh my. It's Ganesh. This is just crazy.
Uh. Oh, wow. You know, I came across a ancient text that was talking about how the gods would sit around and try to create the most useless, uh, helpless human. You know, like no hands, no arms, no legs, you know, and they were all joking about making the worst one. I mean, it's just... Who the f Who do they think they are? And this is... <laughs> I've seen so many things that talk about end times prophecy and I was reading revelations and I need to actually put some of that out. But I do believe that we're in the end times and it is like the days of Noah. The thing is it's covert. If you look you'll find proof of it because a lot of, there have been a lot of reports of human cloning going back to the 40s and earlier. Honestly, I don't think there's any new technology, so I think that cloning and genetic engineering has been going on all the time. I think high tech always exists. It's just a matter of if, if they let the public know. And right now, because of all the different sci-fi shows and things like that that are out there, we have the language to understand that. So it makes it easier to absorb because we have to understand the what this is. Because, of course, any kind of advanced technology to a primitive culture seems like magic. So sci-fi geeks will have a much easier time understanding this. All the people who deal with fantasy because there is more truth in the fiction of our current world right now than there is in the news. Oh, that is, that is creepy. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, and like I said, this is not the only time I've come across these things. They're reported in almost every culture, almost every ancient culture. And genetic engineering is reported by uh, whistleblowers. Oh boy. Feels like Buffy the Vampire Slayer Demonic. Whoa. You know, these are all the different humanoid species that are just like, you know, the tribes that are just like one big foot and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's almost, it's really so spiteful and evil, these creatures, because it's almost like they, they, they really are just doing it like how funny or how cruel can we be with what kind of creature we create? This is horrid. And these these creatures, another thing I've come across is they don't look happy. I mean, this is just evil. This is genetic engineering at its most evil. And I often wondered why there would have to be such a horrific reset. Well, most ages are separated by catastrophes of one sort or the other. But if they had really... I can I can start to imagine. I mean, I'm sure I can't imagine, but I can start to imagine if they had messed with everything so much.
that's awful. This is just like what I said. That other myth I came across that think it was Egyptian gods. I don't remember when or where because I've been looking into this stuff for a long time. But it's like they were just sitting around joking. What's the most ridiculous thing we can come up with? What? How evil does an entity have to be to be like that? To do that? To use genetic engineering for entertainment? And torture and cruelty? <clears throat> No wonder everything had to get wiped out. I'm just, the more I see this, the more, the more angry I'm getting. Because these are the, the same forces that are in control now. But it's just more covert. But it was always authoritarian control by force. But since we're coming into the age of Aquarius, they can't stop the flow of information. I mean, what's the other excuse? There were nuclear wars that made people mutate? I don't think so. That... D I'm just speechless. I believe this was Atlantis. I, this is a sadistic and psychopathic, highly technological culture that just mess with our genetics for fun. This is horrific. I'm getting angry, I'm sorry. I just, this is, I don't even know what I'm looking at there. I'm not sure I even wanna know. God. How many more pages do I have of this? Conehead, I have no words. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my God, I don't want to see that. What? <laughs> what? It's... This has got to be a book documenting all the sick, sick genetic modification going on back then. Androgynous, hermaphrodite. And that to me would be the only I won't get into that. What? Okay. We're getting towards the end. Jeez! I don't know what I'm looking at here. Pretty close. Someone with no feet. Okay. 
This is really some sick stuff. Uh, this is... I do not... S I don't see how this could be a work of fiction. I wish I could read the text. It just reminds me of the other ancient texts I've come across. They sinned against animals. They sinned against the birds. They mixed different species. I, that's... I, I don't remember what book that's in, but it's in a book that's actually mentioned in the Bible and used to be part of the Bible, but was taken out. That it might have been the book of Enoch, the book of Yasher, or Jasher, or the book of Jubilee, not Jubilees. Um, there's one more. Anyhow. Uh, just why? Why? And and I don't see this as fiction. It just doesn't seem to have the purpose. Or the... I just don't see how this is fiction. I don't think this is an idea book. Or... The, a medieval version of a horror movie. Oh, I guess they had to go to photos instead of scans. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to save some of this art. This is some insane stuff. But how can this not be documentation of genetic engineering a few hundred years ago? I think it's always gone on. And like I said, it's just been kept covert. But this is like obviously sick things to do. If you had the power of changing somebody's genes or changing an animal's genes, this is, this is like I said, it's sadistic. It's... It is like deliberate sabotage and sinning against nature. And I think that's, like I said, why the Bible said according to its kind on everything. And I think that the O-blood type humans were probably the original beast. There are different definitions of the word beast in the Bible. It's used in different ways. The humans were the original the O blood type humans, O positives, were the original beasts. They were the shamans. They were the the people that were genetically engineered by Mother Earth for their environment. The people that are genetically modified that live in high altitudes to be up there are the ones that have to dive a lot or genetically have genetic changes in their uh, their DNA that allows them to dive more than other humans. It's it's really like they were genetically engineered to be of the land that they were created for, just like animals were. And uh, I think that Lemuria was probably, or Mu, was probably the first major genetic change in humanity, and that resulted in the B blood types. And I think think that maybe Atlantis had another one and that resulted in the A blood types. Now I think that different non-human entities <laughs> or non-human races bred with humans created the king's line and created the RH negative bloodline within all those different bloodlines. 
So yeah, I do think that the RH negative people are technically, we have Nephilim blood in a way. We're, we're a little bit of a different type of, of human, but we're not. We're all mutts. Wow. We really are, unless you've been living in an isolated community. We're all mutts. We all have many different... types of races and whatnot, haplogroups and whatnot. It's just... Okay, I just couldn't take any more of that. So um, I'm going to stop here. The link to that book is in the description. Please like, share, just find me on Twitter, or you can shoot me an email. I hope <laughs> I hope this, this is interesting to you folks. So um, until next time... Y'all be safe, be good, namaste, and uh, y'all come back now, you hear? Bye.